Today I will show you how you can weather an armor in Photoshop or basically anything else using this interesting technique. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you this really cool technique how to weather an armor of Stormtrooper in this case, but you can apply this technique on whatever you want. You can maybe weather a piece of furniture or whatever you think of. And this is really helpful and useful and you can make your photos stand out even more. So for example, we have Stormtrooper with a new shiny clean armor and you want to cut it out from the background and put it in some other scene somewhere outside, maybe on a field and it won't be so believable because you need to make that armor worn out, weather out a little bit like he went through a lot of difficult situations and then your photo will have more impact and it will be more believable. So let's jump straight in Photoshop and let the fun begin. Really guys, this is our model for today and as you can see this Stormtrooper has really nice, bright, clean, shiny new armor. And we don't want that, we want to weather this out. And now I will show you one really cool, easy and simple technique how you can do this. And you just need to understand the logic behind it and then you can apply it on whatever you want. It's really cool to know this technique because you can make such a great impact on your images. So it goes like this. In real life, this armor is covered with the paint and below the paint you have the original material color and texture. And if you go out on the field with the armor, uh, you will fall several times, you will maybe be hit with something, you will scratch the armor all around, so you will weather this armor out, you will worn it out. And the real material texture and color will be visible because you will scratch the paint all over the armor. So we need to imitate that, we need to make that kind of effect. So first what we need to do, we need to find the texture that will be actually the texture of our original material without before painting it. And for that I will use two textures. I will use this rusty kind and I will use this scratched out blue kind of texture. It will work really good for this example. So if you have some kind of piece of furniture or I don't know, whatever you want, you need to find the texture that will be below that paint or below that first layer that will be weathered out. So that's, that's the logic behind it. So I will copy this and I will paste on our document right here. And I will press Control Command T and just rotate it a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. I just want to make it maybe like this, just to cover the whole Stormtrooper. If this, uh, this texture is a lot smaller, then I will maybe make two copies of it and merge them together, etc. But this is really cool. So I will press OK and then I will put it in a multiply blending mode. So as you can see, a lot of scratches here and there and of course I will not leave it like this but I just want to see the preview where those scratches are falling on the armor overall here. So it's really cool, maybe here is a little bit brighter so I will use curves adjustment layer and I will just make this a little bit darker. Just a touch, okay and actually I will merge this together, I'm, I'm pressing Control or command E to merge those two together. Okay, now I will put a black layer mask on this and to put a black layer mask you just need to press and hold Alt or Option key and click on create new mask right here and that's it. Okay guys, now the idea behind all this process is to use a brush, okay, and it's not uh, okay to use, it's not okay, It's it will not be like really cool effect just to use a regular round brush and just paint it over it because you will have some crazy I don't know, not interesting effect, but the idea is that this armor will be weathered out first on these, these edges here, as you can see. So we need to make some scratches here and there and to, to weather out this, to worn out these edges all the way, all around here, etc. So as you can see, this effect is not cool at all because we are using really simple regular brush. So I will undo this several times. And for this effect, I will use two different brushes. First, I will use my set of debris brushes and I will use my set of weathered brushes. So if you're not familiar how to create your own debris brushes, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. Or you can go to my website, you have a link down there in the description, you can purchase my set of debris brushes for just $1 and also my set of 
uh, weathered brushes for just one dollar too. I will show really quickly how you can the idea how you can create your own weather brushes if you like to do it or if you like to purchase my set of those brushes that I will use here you can do that too you have the links down there so you need to find some kind of material like this or whatever you want to make that kind of brush and you just need to make a copy of something maybe something like this I will make a copy create a new document and just paste this and I need to desaturate this to make it black and white and for that the faster fastest way is to press shift Control U or shift command U on Mac and that's it and now I will invert it with Control command I I don't need always to invert it guys I will invert it in this case because I want these white parts to be black and this dark grayish parts to be brighter so I will invert Control command I and that's cool then I will press Control or command L for levels and just tweak this out make everything that is bright gray all the way white and this almost like black and then I will go add it Define brush preset, name this however I want. Weathered brush, for example. And there you have it. I have my weather brush. Also, I will press F5 and change some settings. I will change the size a little bit. I will change the angle a little bit. Maybe I will scatter just a touch and go with the spacing a little bit. And that's cool. So now if I want to paint something with this brush, you can see it's really cool effect it's better than just regular round brush so we can go right here and if we use this brush that I just created and use maybe opacity 30% it's much better as you can see guys this is really cool and also if you want to save this brush with these settings that you applied right now you just need to right click and go on this icon and save this however you want name it however you want and just check this include tool settings nothing else and press ok so that's that's cool I have here my four different weather brush that I will use in this tutorial but I will start with my debris brushes right here so I will start with this one number three and I will make it a lot smaller like this and also I will just erase this that I created right now because I don't need it currently okay and I will paint paint with my debris brush on the mask so I need white color because I want to reveal things down below and I will paint on the mask with white color also I will maybe set the opacity to 30% or so you need to experiment with that depends on the image material texture etc it's not always the same and I will just make a smaller brush maybe even smaller and just paint here just on those edges and you guys now need to have a lot of patience and just play with this I will fast forward this because I will just paint some basic basic scratches here with my debris brush all around like this and I will back I will be back really soon and guys as you can see I'm painting this on the, these edges because these edges will be worn out first so these these edges are the easiest to scratch and to hit or whatever so that's why I'm painting it on these edges first really guys now I will change to other debris brush everything is the same I just change the brush because I just want to try with a different brush and again I will fast forward it everything is the same I'm just painting here on these edges a little bit so that's all what you need to do just scratch those edges a little bit ready guys I'm almost done with this basic painting so just a few things here and there on the armor on this part of the arm and then we will change brush we'll use one of my weather brush and just have patience for this just put some uh, pl play some kind of nice music I don't know and and enjoy this process because the more time you invest in this the better result you will have
maybe you can uh, search online for some kind of references how the scratched armor looks or how the scratched materials and uh, weather materials looks there are a lot of examples so just google it and that will help you definitely to to decide where you should where you should scratch this where you should paint with your custom brushes great guys for now i'm done with this brush so let me show you before and after we are progressing a little bit bit by bit step by step so now i will go and choose my other weather brush so weather brush number one and let me show you how this looks if i make it bigger it's really nice like we have like some cool scratches maybe i will put some scratches here on the helmet maybe make it even bigger and that's cool like this also i can change the opacity put even more and just use i'll just use this brush to add even more of these scratches here and there and again i will fast forward because i'm just using another brush to have some kind of variations and adding even more scratches and guys as you can see here i have a little bit more brightened material because as you can see if i uh, shift and click on the mask I will see the material and it's really bright here and I don't like to be so bright but we will fix that later we can add curves adjustment layer let me show you that really quickly and clip to affect only this material and make everything darker so I will just make everything a little bit darker then I will invert the mask control command I and then I will just maybe with uh, 10 or 20 10 percent opacity brush 20 I don't know just make these parts even darker but I will do that later at the end just to show that this is an option too if you have a little bit more bright parts of the material here and there. So let's continue back with our I don't know, material number one. Okay, and again I will just, just paint with this brush. And also guys, the interesting thing that you can do, you can just maybe paint something like this. All right, and then invert the brush with the X to paint with the black color and just erase this to have like really soft scratches, like really cool effect. I really like this. So I'm still painting this small scratches. I will change the brush, I will use weather number two. And with this brush, we can paint some really big things like this and also invert it and ju just, just maybe erase a few things here and there but also with this weather brush number two we can use white color of course and just paint paint some things again here so this is what i like to do right now so i will be back shortly i'll fast forward this again Alright guys, here as you can see, I'm using another brush, weather brush number three, and I like to paint with that brush and just like a sponge, use a black color and just brush out some, some things to add some kind of imperfections here and there. So I really like to combine negative and positive painting like with uh, black and white color to reveal and, and to hide some things. So this is uh, really cool for now. We need to to paint some more things here and there. I will again fast forward this and just paint a few things here and there and then I will show you another trick. So guys, I will again switch to my debris brush because I just want to add some details more here and there just some kind of more scratching imperfections etc and here on this shoulder my material is a little bit brighter so i don't like it and i will make it i will definitely make it darker with this curves adjustment layer a little bit later but just to fix this first
And guys, now I will use my weather brush number four. And this one is really cool. I really like it because with this one, I can add a lot of kind of dirt, dust, like small details. As you can see, just small details. I can make brush bigger and smaller and just paint with this. If I go with 100% of S, let me just show you how this looks. It's like this. So I don't want to go with 100% opacity. I just want to maybe go with 10 or 20% opacity, depends on the area that I'm painting. And, and that's it. Just paint some small details here and there, like just some kind of dirt. All right, guys. So I'm finished with these small details. Now I will go on the curves layer and use my weather number two or three we'll see whether number two yes and i will just add some kind of dark parts here and there where i want my material to be darker so i'll just do this here on the shoulder i want to be really dark i don't like so bright so i'll just paint with this and why i'm not using the regular round brush well because i just want to add some imperfections in in that shadowing parts too so I really love to use those custom brushes. Ready guys, and now I want to add some scratches. So there are several ways how you can add scratches, but I prefer here to use just the texture with a lot of scratches and to apply all, all over it. So for that, I will use this texture right here, copy it and just paste it right here. So. S for scratch, okay. And I will press Control Command T, just rotate it like this. Right, I will make it a little bit smaller, just to fit this guy. And I will put it in overlay blending mode to see how this looks, I will press okay. And as you can see, we have a lot of scratches here and there. And now I want to put again the black layer mask, I will hold Alt or Option key and click on the new mask icon and just with brush maybe weather number two or debris i will see maybe weather number two is cool just want to paint some scratches here and there but i don't want to use 100 percent opacity of course i will just use maybe 20 percent opacity and just use some other brush maybe this one just change switch between brushes and see how this how this fits so it's cool for now i'll make some small brush brushes some bigger Etc. And I don't want to add these scratches everywhere, just on some parts, some more bumpy parts. So just be careful with this, not to overdo it and just play, experiment, do a few times. Maybe you can erase from some parts, etc. But this is all guys just playing, experimenting and see what fits the best for for photo that you're working on so i really enjoying this process experimenting and painting these scratches etc so this is cool also you can go and add some curse adjustment layer here if you want to maybe play with the scratches make them darker etc see what suits best for your image. Maybe you can change the from overlay to multiply for some other images to have like crazy effect. But for this, the soft light or overlay overlay works the best. So I really like it and just want to play with some curves to add more impact, something like this. Right, we are not done yet. Now we are, we are going to play with another texture and that's this one i like to go with this texture and just paint it again over it so this is our material number two okay and also i will rotate it to fit this guy like this and i want to change the color i will use hue saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect only material number two and just want to change to some kind of bluish color right and lower, lower the saturation. You can always change these settings because this is an undestructed way to work. So I will start with this and also I will again add black layer mask and do the same what I did from the beginning with the first material. So I will again switch between 
my weather brushes and uh, debris brushes and just paint again with the new material like there are some deeper scratches with different parts of material revealing through the paint so let's do that i will fast forward a lot of this because I don't want to waste your time. You just need to understand what I'm doing and then try it on your own, on your own images, or you can download this image. The link is down there in the description too. So choose whatever you want. And as you can see right here, if I'm painting with this material, let me just switch here and there. I need to go on the mask, okay? And if I'm painting, I'm, I'm having different kind of effects. So I can change maybe for more saturation, less saturation, gray, whatever I want, maybe more bluish, different kind of thing. You just need to play with that. Maybe you want darker, brighter, however you choose, it's cool. And also I can put this in multiply blending mode, I can put this in soft light blending mode, whatever I want. So for this I will just leave it in normal because I want to see the full texture and I will start again. I will just erase this, okay. And I will start with, I don't know, maybe weather brush number one here. And just paint some details here and there. I will use maybe 30% opacity. Just add a bit saturation here and just start some details. Also, I will switch between black and white and erase some parts, add some parts, etc. So I will play play with this. Alright guys, now I'll use my weather brush number 4 and just make it a little bit bigger, maybe 10% opacity, and just add some kind of, kind of this splashes, I don't know, whatever it is, just a few here and there and I will erase, I'll use eraser and just erase outside of this stormtrooper. Also guys, you can make a selection of the stormtrooper and just uh, put a mask all over it, put everything in a group and put the mask on the group and you don't need to think about if you're painting out of the model. So for this uh, example, I didn't do that, but that's an option just for you to know. So I'll just add more these small things and we are almost done. We just need to, to tweak some things here and there. As you can see, you can change the color of this. So maybe if you want to add some kind of reddish, I don't know, you can maybe some kind of like rust, but I don't want that. You can add maybe some kind of sand on him or whatever you want, depends on the situation he is in. But for this, I will just go with the bluish kind of tint, just like that. And also I will add some kind of uh, darkness curse adjustment layer and make everything darker and invert it with Control command i and again paint with weather brush number three, I will just paint some parts that I want to be darker here on that material. So that's only thing that I'm doing right now and we are basically finished. Of course, we can spend a lot more time adding small details, more scratches, play with things. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will definitely stop. But I really love to do this. And I will show you how you can finalize this and make it even more interesting. Also, I want to add here a few of these dirty parts. Okay, just like that. And maybe Just a few of these here and there. Of 
So let me see, before and after, yeah, before and after, a lot of different things is going on here. So let's go back to the scratch material. Maybe if you want to add some more scratches somewhere, you can just paint back some scratches, maybe here on the arm, I don't know. Also, you can make the scratches darker by applying a mask, etc. So let's add another curves adjustment layer just on the scratches, make everything darker. Let me see. Just scratches because I want here to make it a little bit darker, maybe more contrast like that. And I will invert it again, Control Command I, and just paint here just to have more scratches visible here and there. And that's it, guys. Right, we can do this for hours now, but I will stop here. And what I like to do right now, I want to merge, actually to select everything here, press Control Command G and name this Weathered Armor. Oh, this is not how it's spelled. Okay, I think this is good. And now I will merge everything together. I will press Shift Control Alt T or Shift Command Option E on a Mac and do my final favorite steps. I will go to Filter, Camera Row Filter and just apply some final color correction here. I will add some contrast. I will add some clarity because the clarity will really make an impact here. Dehaze it to touch also. Maybe blacks and open shadows a bit. And of course, I can add vignetting just to make uh, surrounding. Uh, I can add vignetting just to make some corners darker here. And also, I can sharpen it a bit. Let me see. This is pretty much OK. And that's it. I will press OK. Also, I can go to filter Nick Color FX Pro because I really love Nick Color FX Pro. I'm using it all the time. And I will apply two effects. I will apply Pro Contrast and Detail Extractor. So we will see that really quickly. So I'll first go with the Pro Contrast and I will increase Dynamic Contrast. I really love this Dynamic Contrast because it will preserve the highlights and shadows and it will make really good contrast. So it will not blow out highlights and shadows like the regular contrast will do, as you can see. So a dynamic contrast, and I will add another filter, and another is detail extractor. So it will extract, extract even more details, but this is too much. I will lower the effect and increase the contrast. So before and after, it's really nice impact on this. I will press OK, and here it is. So now I will add a layer mask and I will just use finally a regular soft round brush, make it bigger and just paint out the effect. Actually, I will I will invert the mask, control command I and just paint the effect where I think it would be nice, maybe with 50% opacity and just paint on the soldier here. So this is cool. Let me see before and after. Yeah, a little bit more punchy. And also guys, I want to merge everything together again, shift Control alt or shift command option in a Mac and go one more time to filter because I forgot to do this filter and camera row filter. And I want to make the highlights a little bit more yellowish, not like clean white color. So I will go to split toning here and go to highlights and increase the situation and go to yellow color, something like this. And I will just do that touch something like this maybe, right? And that's that's it. So before and after just a small amount, maybe even less, something like this. And I will press OK. And guys, this is it. So let me show you overall. This is the model that we start with and this is the final result. So we have much better looking soldier that is weathered out. He went in a field. He went through a lot of different things and this is how it looks. Of course, this can be even better if you spend even more time tweaking this, but I love the result. I, I really loving this effect. So that's it one more time before and after, before and after. 
Read guys, and that's finally it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you learn something new and interesting from this one. Now you know how you can weather an armor and you can apply exactly the same technique to weather whatever you want. Just find the textures that will be beneath the, the first layer of you what you want to scratch to uh, worn out to weather out. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. Read guys, if you like this episode, if you appreciate the content, press that like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. And guys, if you want to support me to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and also you will get some things in return. For example, my PSD file, this PSD file, etc. You will get some brushes for free and so on and so on. Have fun, experiment and see you guys in the next fun episode. Bye bye.